Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. So hot outside. Today's only supposed to be 22 degrees, but it's scorching, it's like a sauna. I know a lot of people think that in Canada, it's super cold and that that means that even in summer it's cold, but it's not. Because we're surrounded by so much water, it's humid. It's, people often compare Canada and Florida because the humidity in both places is super similar. So it is scorching out. Sam and I are headed out. He's gone in to get his phone that he forgot. We are headed out to look at a house though, to look at another farm. People keep asking me, are you still moving? We're still moving, we're still trying, we're still looking. The house market is insane right now. We're just gonna drive by. We looked at this house online. It's the area that we want. It's the kind of property that we want. It's got lots of room, like the horses would just be in heaven there. It would be amazing for them. But the house, it's pretty house, but it's just chopped up a bit and not my idea of a good house. Like, I could give up a little bit in the house department for the right area. Areas is all of it, and the best thing for the horses is all of it. But anyways, we're gonna go drive by, and we're gonna see. You ready? This could be our house, like who knows, right? Yeah. We're not gonna show you the house because we're considering it, sort of. This is the road, though. So it's deep in the country. Like, there are two houses that we're kind of thinking about. Like, we're kind of waiting to see if something else comes in the market or we're kind of deciding between these two. One is not the area exactly that we want to be in. Like, it's hard, you guys. There's one of the fields. <laughs> Field. So it's like this this dirt road. It's close to the Trans-Canada Rail, which is like an area that we could go walking or we could go four-wheeling or we could like, close to that the road is kind of iffy the house like the only thing wrong with the house is that the living room is so awkward like the whole house actually the main floor especially is just awkward small house too, yeah. and it's only 20 yeah it's just only it's a small house a bit bigger than what we have now but it's more it's newer and it's cuter and it's cute hardly no neighbors if our horses ever got out here we just found them in a field somewhere like it's so safe here for horses it's got a little I don't know, I don't know you guys, but we're just, we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. We're slow at figuring things out because we don't want to make the wrong choice. Anyway, this is it. This is the road. This might be our future road, you guys. You never know. We don't share the house with you. It's usually a good indication that we're serious about it. It is garden flock season and these things are gorgeous and they smell amazing. Mmm. And there's tons of them. Look how cute. This entire weekend has been humid as heck, which makes it hard to get out and do stuff because the humidity takes away all your energy. But today is gorgeous. Hi, sweet penny. Hello, Willow. Willow will be getting some grass. You guys will be going out in the grass in a few minutes. All right, so update on our arena. It's done, like done, done. So I think it's pretty good. So a lot of you guys said that the ceiling up there is not the same as it used to be. I told you guys, and I think it definitely looks different, and Sam doesn't believe me. He actually thinks that I'm making it up and that it didn't that it always look that way. So today Sam and I are getting the farm ready, like just cleaning stuff up from Everything that happened on the weekend. Jacob has toys from one end of this little farm to the other. I'm gonna try get this outside today and uh, cut the grass down at the cut the grass down at the arena. And Sam's working on the arena still. You gotta take advantage of days like this when the weather is great and you can get out there and get stuff done. Hi, Minnie. Hi, cutie patootie. So some things that I didn't get a chance to show you that happened on the weekend. I, w I wanted to make like so many TikToks with the grandkids because they're fun and miss when my kids were little. So anyways, um, so two new love affairs happened. I told you guys that Brooklyn is taking over my Penny girl. Like Penny loves her and loves young kids. One time my nephew was here and he was a little boy. He went like laid underneath of her, laid underneath her belly and I was like, get up! And she was like, don't you touch my baby. <laughs> I don't know if Penny's ever had babies. It's possible. I don't feel like she has. Like her body doesn't look like she has in all the spots that she would look like she had has had babies. Hey, be nice. But she's definitely got a really strong maternal side. Do you guys remember a time when I thought this horse was never going to be loving because she pinned her ears so badly? Now she's the most loving. 
So Brooklyn and Penny found each other and also Molly found Brooklyn. Molly fell in love with Brooklyn. Molly, Brooklyn just lets her kiss her. Like Gabby's always so intent on making sure that he, she only does the things that are favorable. She never like licks her face and she never jumps on her and she never, I mean, obviously I get it, but Brooklyn was so much more just about loving her and let her climb on her and let her kiss her face and Brooke, and Molly responded to that. She followed Brooklyn around every single day and Brooklyn wanted to train her and like they don't, they have a dog but neither of them have had like their own animal. Um, they do have a cat too. Anyway, that all happened. So I'm gonna go out there, cut everything, set everything up because soon it'll be time for lessons, you guys. Some of you guys are asking for a cleaning the tack video. Um, we clean our tack often, usually right before a show, and the girls clean some of their tack after every ride. Can you believe that? Um, and we just never show it. So I will try and do a video like that soon. This is what our arena looks like now. Huh. All right, tell us what you have going on here, Gabby. Jumps. Jumps. Just plain ordinary jumps. So this is what it looks like. You guys, it's deadly hot, and it's not even that hot. So we cleaned up this area. Well, I'm gonna clean up this area. I'm gonna put this, this, and our lounge chairs in another spot. I'm gonna put this and our lounge chairs in another spot, someplace that we can lay in the sun because we like to tan. That's kind of private from the road. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Put it by the pool, I guess. Okay, so I have a terrifying story. So. Mom turned off the fence so we can put all the chairs out into the arena. Oh, so and I touched the fence so I could go through and get the wheelbarrow and it electrocuted me. But it was unplugged, so you tell me, did it really electrocute you? Yes! Favorite color of Freezy, guys. What is it? What's your favorite color? Either white or... White, blue, and red are my order. White or watermelon. Gabby, what color are you? I don't have a favorite one. You like them all? Why don't you eat all the purples then? Because I hate purples. I love every freezer. I don't, I don't like watermelon though. I love watermelon. Everybody's Everybody cutting open their things. Remember in the olden days when you used to bite them with your, with your teeth? These are the lounge chairs that I'm going to put in another spot. I mean, they're going to put them by the pool. I plan to open the pool this weekend, but there's just way too much stuff to do and only four days to do it. It's exhausting. How do you hold it with this is the coolest spot in the barn. We don't even have any horses in here. Anyway, we're gonna sit here, eat us a freezy, and I'm gonna do some more work. I have some more grass to cut. Like I wanna spend today when it's actually not super, super hot, um, getting the farm set up as much as I can for summer. You only have so much time before a trillium is gonna start. Mom, she just let her dog lick her freezy. You just let your dog lick your freezy. Yeah. Molly, well, lick my freezy. I'll Just do it joking. Again. Here. Mm. <laughs> when you love somebody, germs don't matter, right? Or I you just germs. don't care about germs. Or you just don't care about germs. I hate germs. That's probably why I get sick a lot. Mm. Sophie's turning germaphobic, I've noticed. But anyway, we're going to end today's video here mm -hmm. because I have a lot more to do, and I'm going to show you guys. Uh, what happened recently um, while we were riding. We did a little bit of jumping and I'm gonna show you that footage just to uh, fill in the video because some days it's just harder than others to vlog. We just wanna do, it's just easier to get all the things done that we need to get done. So we're gonna show you guys that and we'll see you guys back tomorrow with an exciting, fun, amazing video. Bye. 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 Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> the horses are like, it's too hot, we want to go home. I just say canter and my horse canter. Yeah, Sophie just says canter and her horse canters. It's a lot easier than this boy. There we go. Oh, did you guys see that? That was gorgeous.
Who's in charge? <laughs> well played, Storm. Well played. He's like, I know how to get her to stop riding. <laughs> Come on. You did that just fine. You can stick that stuff now, Self. You're big. Come on, get back out there. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. Come on, Self, you gotta do it one more time. Riding is such a hard thing. Especially for kids. I don't know, maybe especially for kids. I think for everybody though. Like it takes years of practice and remembering to get all the things right. Like even if you know all the things, actually putting them into practice, it's so hard. Like that's why we will always have trainers for the rest of our lives. As long as we have horses and we're riding, we will have trainers. I think that's very smart. So Sophie's nervous now because Storm took along. So she said she's gonna trot over at first. Find your way, find the way that you feel comfortable. There you go. Now canter it. Needs more speed. Gabby's like, what a good child. See, how are horses? Owning horses is like good preparation for being a parent. Gosh, it's because you're getting yourself all worked up, Sophie. All right, we're doing it now. This is gonna be it. She's trying to figure it out. She doesn't want him to take a long, but she doesn't want him to go too fast either, so. The sun is getting warmer. You are confusing him. It's you, Sophie. Take a deep breath. And yeah, he was listening to you. That's so good. You were, you were going. Come on. One last time. Last chance, you guys. She can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. Three, two, one. Yes. Gabby's over here waving at the cars. And then people wave back and she's all excited. It's the summer Gabby. It's summer Gabby.